great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one, uh, another one of my video uploads, uh, Dawn of Justice. Yeah, you've seen my Batman, you've seen my Superman, and you've seen my Wonder Woman. It's time for me to draw Lex Luthor. Uh, apparently in the movie, uh, it's been released on all kinds of news sites that uh, uh, the, the actor, Jesse Eisenberg, that's playing Lex Luthor, will have hair, at least in the start of the movie, but we all know if he's going to be Luthor, he's going to be bald, uh, eventually. So, yeah, they also released this image a while back of uh, the actor without the hair, and uh, I thought it would fit in nice. Uh, it's more of a, um, a portrait style, so it's just the headshot, whereas the other three images, plus the Jason Momoa Aquaman, I forgot about him, uh, they were more of uh, from, like, the knees or up or full body shot. Um, so yeah, like this one, I'm doing it in my ink style with gray tones, something I'm experimenting with right now. It's where I take uh, my waterproof ink and I mix water with it, and after that chemical reaction happens, it settles down into a nice little gray tone. I can then add more water, take away or add more ink, depending on if I want it darker or lighter. And it's the same technique I would use with uh, my watercolor painting, but again, I'm envisioning it with gray tones. So. It's something that uh, I really liked about the old Conan comic books, and it's something that comes through in uh, this new experiment that I'm doing. So yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I think Eisenberg's going to play a great Lex Luthor. Uh, if you've heard or have seen the trailer and you've heard his uh, audio dubbed over in that trailer, you know, where, you know, the questioning of the Superman and all that, it definitely sounds like we're going to have a great antagonist. Uh, and of course, that's what it's always been about. Lex Luthor is not the, the muscle. He's not the powerhouse. I, I always kind of get a little ticked off and peeved when I see him in power suits running around punching superheroes. And, you know, for me, Lex Luthor is the brains. He's the mind. He doesn't need to lower himself to those levels. He doesn't need to bump and trade blows with Superman. Obviously, he couldn't physically in, in any stretch of the imagination. But then again, I mean... We're talking about an alien from another planet who is powered by our sun that can fly. Uh, I mean, it's all speculative, but for me, I just, I really have always liked Lex Luthor being more of that, uh, the original character, the scientist, the philanthropist, the, the mind, the opposite of Superman, who is very physical and very uh, good-looking, dominating Luthor, you know, not that way. Probably wants to be, and that's where his envy comes in. So anyways, uh, I really like doing this. I hope you guys like this. Uh, I'll be having this one with all my other ones available for prints. So check the link down below. Check out my website. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.